Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is a little bit of updates on covers, planners, uh, and the such. So last time when I did my cover collection, I mentioned the take a note, uh, not take a note, um, uh, what is it called? Thinking of you planner, which I wasn't using. I started kind of using it as a desk um, note taker. I've been time tracking um, my days and it has kept me honest let's just put it this way it does take a lot of room in my planner because that means that I can only do two days per page now I understand these inserts are a little bit smaller than these pages so I'm kind of curious on how that's gonna go have you guys been looking at the Hobonichi um, unveiling so I guess everything's gonna come in English ironically I'm completely like I don't care either way because <laughs> I kind of like seeing the Japanese letters and they do write the days of the week in English there so I don't see and the month but I'm sure some people would like it it'd be kind of nice to see what's written there but even in the English version of the A6 I'd never really read those kind of wish they weren't there but it's part of their thing so I get it um, but my hope and I know it's because it's the first year I am planning on getting a mega and it's really hard for me to give up the pretty covers. I mean, I'll still have the Moomin because I pre-ordered it, but next year it'll be my gratitude journal because I am going to keep with it. It really works for me and it it's become part of my coffee morning routine. In fact, if you look in my time tracking, it's coffee, email planning, drawing, YouTube, and eventually breakfast. But basically every morning I make a list of everything I need to do. I check my emails. I do my gratitude journal, which is right now in the cover I made for myself um, because this leather was very similar to the leather I had from the right and I really love it. And kind of happy how it turned out. And it's a little crooked here, but otherwise it's pretty amazing. I made this in one day. I'm pretty proud because usually it takes me a while. Um, but yeah, love um, switching. Now I have a brown and a red. And it's cool to have one that I made. I'm probably gonna make myself an insert for those covers that I showed last time, the B6M. I just realized I could. And this leather is so thin, it's kind of perfect for inserts. So I'm probably gonna do a few inserts for this and maybe for my Traveler's notebook, although I never use them. I have too many sizes I wanna use. It's getting overwhelming. However, the time tracking really, really works. So basically, like my system is getting more um, pointy in the sense that my monthly has all my appointment in advance. So every, usually at the beginning of the week, but then daily I look and see if there's an appointment because it will be here. And my weeks is really more of tracking. Um, I did a much more minimalist tracker this week, but I decorated a little more. Um, I decorated a few weeks in advance. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, because I accidentally started decorating this page and I realized, oh, oops, <laughs> I'm two weeks ahead. But um, this has become more and more um, illustrated journal at the end of the week, you know, and I like this. I really like this. It shows what I've done, not like the to do like groceries, blah, blah, blah but more like I saw this person, I went to dinner there. Um, things like that are gonna be in my weeks. It's more, I guess, a personal planner on this and it involves um, illustration. So that's the weeks and then in the back, in the bullet journal, it's something that I'll sit on Sunday night, I sit and I write the goals for the week and then every morning I'll write all the stuff I want to accomplish that day and now as the day progresses I write down what time it is and what I've done during those times. Also my meals are in there. I put my meals because I was kind of getting out of hands for some reason at some point. Um, so this is working. I'm loving the Pilot Vanishing Point now that I have an ink that doesn't smudge completely. Um, I'm just using the Pilot um, 
cartridge and I'm very happy with that. And that's about it. I was mostly wanting to talk about the time tracking and also the fact that since I, I think I mentioned in another video, but since I decided to put a timeline on morning is first thing, gratitude journal. I track some health stuff in the monthly. Second thing is what do I need to accomplish today? Goes in my to do's and I start time tracking. Third thing is drawing the day before and Yes, I haven't been coloring it and I'm not quite sure I colored a few days yesterday from back in May, but since I do it like this, it's become much more of a daily journal of what I did with um, picture support. I put one of Scott's uh, stickers here for the monthly page because, well, honestly, because I had done a drawing that I really hated, so I decided to cover it up. So that's great. That's been really working. My take from it is if you give yourself a schedule, like I'm gonna do it either in the morning or at night, then it's easier to be consistent. I was having a really hard time with the illustrated journal. The fact that I'm doing that every morning is also keeping me from forgetting to take pictures during the day. Uh, when I have my kids, I always have a gazillion pictures. When I don't, I don't necessarily have pictures. And those days are usually the days that I end up being really empty from the past year. What I've been able to do with doing it the day after is I can have a page like this where it's it's mostly like the sun, big lettering and something about the day. And then, you know, or days where I feel like I accomplished a lot. I think I just had one like this where I did a lot and I decided to mostly draw how it felt versus any picture I, I had myself this one and then I just drew myself doing a YouTube video before if you do that a month later and there's nothing you did that day you don't have any pictures in your phone it's really hard to remember how you felt and I don't I could track it down and go on my five year or whatever but it doesn't work I, this is working really well in the morning after I do gratitude planning drawing the day before boom I'm done once every other day usually the five year I do at the end of the day because the end of the day I always sit, I always sit down my planner see what I have done what still needs to be done and that really works it, the time tracking has kept me so productive but also allowed me to look so I'm not um, pre-planning I'm not saying from 10 to 11 I'm going to do this at 10 when I start doing something I write it down and when I'm done I write down what time it is what it allows me to figure out is how long things take me and that is an interesting thing to see because a lot of the time I'll push out uh, the start of something because I'm like oh it's gonna take me so long and I'm like prepping myself psychologically I'm making this big mountain out of something that really will take me about half an hour and so this has been fantastic. I highly recommend if you've never tried to do it this way because a lot of the people do it where they pre-plan. You might get there. I may get there. I don't know. Right now is just helping me to have to go from the goals list to the time tracking list and be able to see how I'm spending my time. Yesterday I wasn't very productive but the day before and today and the day before that I was so so productive and that is because of that. Like really highly recommend <laughs> so I'm gonna say do it <laughs> and yeah and that's all I wanted to talk about so I started doing the time tracking on this on my desk but um, today is Wednesday yesterday I started there but I ended up I was on this there's no need for me to write it twice so that's that um, I did receive some things from stationary pal which I had never ordered from. I saw a YouTube video and then when I looked, I was like kind of blown away at how cheap it was. And I got some like washi. Um, I got a few washi. That one is really cool. I saw Jane the Crazy has very similar thing. I might get some other colors. They're so cheap. And then I got some pens. I got the uh, Zig Metallic this jelly roll in silver metallic i have the zebra sarasa which this is my gift and then the uniball um 
what is it called uniball one yeah this one i'm gonna keep because i really like the way this uh wrote i'm gonna stop talking now i'm gonna say goodbye thanks for watching but if you want to stay tuned you can see the unboxing of all this stuff and i do try it on my hobonichi weeks um i got this on a whim and this looks absolutely delightful to my surprise i may yeah i'm not a big collage person but for some reason i got this one because whatever but yeah um, i'm gonna stop talking now i'm gonna say bye bye and you can watch this with some music until the end of the video thanks for watching if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below bye bye